It appears the Carolina Panthers fan base has taken their first L of the offseason, despite firing Matt Rule and hiring an all-star coaching staff headed by Frank Wright, bringing in all kind of great players and switching systems, and even trading up to the number one overall pick to seemingly draft their new franchise quarterback. And despite all that good stuff, there was one big rumor that Panthers fans really got excited about. And this is all due because according to uh, NFLShop.com, everything that the Panthers and the Arizona Cardinals had as far as jerseys were marked down on sale. There was not any kind of seasonal sale going on across the whole league. It was just those two franchises. And with the announcement of rumors that the Arizona Cardinals were getting new jerseys, Panthers fans took this concept and took off. You know, even me. Hey, on my live stream a couple weeks ago, I even speculated and we looked at some jersey concepts and some photoshops done by some fans of what they thought the Panthers should do with their uniform from white helmets to adding extra stripes to claw marks to a black dial helmet. There were all kind of things that fans were running with and it was kind of fun to think about. However, the team made a stark announcement today and it seems like the Panthers fan base is taking a blow. So in this video today, we're going to talk about exactly what the Panthers team came out and said, what they clarified as far as the New Jersey's and potential of that coming on the horizon, and what went wrong for our speculation. We're starting right now. What up, dude? My name is Aaron Duncan here with the Necessary Bluntness Sports Talk, bringing you recap and analysis of the Carolina Panthers. So if you want to see more videos about the squad, hit that subscribe button down below and the bell icon. Also, please give this video a thumbs up because it really helps me out in the algorithm and it helps spread the word out to more Panthers fans. That way they can get some of this content, analysis, updates, and all the news and film and live streams that I do here on the channel. So I really appreciate that. However, down below in the comments, let me know how you felt about the potential of New Jersey. Do you think the Panthers jerseys they have now are fine? I know they're, they're, they're pretty good in my opinion, but some people don't like the, the goal. Some people want new helmets. I want to get you guys thoughts on the Panthers current helmets right now down below in the comments. Let's talk about it a little bit. So it was fun while it lasted, speculating and getting exciting. The thought of whoever our first overall draft pick is holding up that brand new shiny jersey on draft night, debuting it for the fans. I was dreaming and, and, and I was foaming at the mouth, drooling at the mouth, trying to think about what could potentially happen with our new quarterback, our new jerseys, our new coaching staff, just ushering in a brand new era. It felt like exciting times, even if it felt like it may just be a small tweak to the jersey. New jerseys are great for fans because, I mean, who doesn't like new threads and new clothes, you know what I'm saying, especially on the first day of school. Regardless, the Panthers, they put out a statement, and according to what Sheena Quick posted on Twitter, the team said, that on, when it comes to the new uniforms, this is not a redesign. This is a color correction to bring our uniforms more in line with our true color, a.k.a. process blue. When Nike took us on in 2012, they chose the color in their color book that was closest to our blue. They now have a better color match. The shoulder stripe stopped short of going under the armpit as part of the change made by Nike to accommodate new technology related to increased mobility. We are not removing silver. The jerseys from our number one draft choice will reflect the updated color of blue. We are not changing our logo. This updated blue is consistent with the blue the fans see in our end zones. End quote. Reality is set in, people. We're not getting new jerseys. The Panthers, they all but uh, killed that. We know we got the black helmets last year. That was a great changeup. I would love to see them wear that black on black a lot more often in primetime. Obviously, wearing black in the heat of the day at 1 o'clock in the South sounds like a assassination attempt on your roster. Regardless, I think they should wear that black helmet more often. But this announcement that we got from the team it's definitely a letdown, but it gives me and leads me to more questions because I always have my doubts. Me being a huge aficionado, if you watch my channel enough, you know I keep the freshest and latest gear on when it comes to the Panthers. But when it comes to jerseys, I have a certain collection of it. And obviously, I'm going to have to reboot because most of the players I have have been traded. But I did always notice that something was off. Looking at my Christian McCaffrey jersey right here from Nike, the colors seem a little bit different. And it could just be the lighting for you guys, but if you hold it up, it looks a little bit different than what I have going on. If you look at the hat compared to the jersey, that's pretty close. But without the light, you can definitely tell the difference because my hat is from 47. My shirt is from Fanatics. 
if you hold up the jersey to if you hold the blue to blue, you can clearly see that the Christian McCaffrey blue is different than my blue from Fanatics. And so Fanatics, they probably have that color concept and they know what the Panthers colors is. But in NFL shop in Nike, they didn't have it. So it's clear and obvious. You can see the difference right here from what the Panthers blue should be. It's a little bit darker because it's processed blue, quote unquote, versus I don't know what blue I don't know what blue this is anyway. So I can't wear that McCaffrey jersey regardless. We, we've been we've been bamboozled. We've been spending $150 plus. I have an elite jersey. Those elite jerseys are authentic. They're $300. I have one that's signed by DJ Moore. I didn't plan on wearing it anyway. But to know that I was spending $300 plus dollars on a jersey we had wrong colors, I feel bamboozled. I feel led astray. We've been run amok. We've been flat out hoodwinked. I want a refund. This is uh, this is this is malpractice. They did not tell us this. They should have let us know and let us know what we were getting into. Regardless, it's already bad enough that we're not getting the jersey. But to know that we wasted money on the wrong color all these years, it pisses me off. However, I would like to see what the concept is of these new jerseys because if they're not going to change much, it may be a good time to take advantage of this huge sale that uh, NFL shop is having with everything marked down. If it's going to be a small tweak that may not be even noticeable, this is a good time to rack up on jerseys that are usually more expensive. You know, if you're cool with wearing the wrong color, like I may be, you may even want to go get you a black jersey or a blue jersey, I mean a white jersey. That way it's not that much blue on it and you can't tell the difference. That way you get to take advantage of a sale and it's not much of a change. I know it's a letdown, but I'm trying to find a glimmer of hope in this body blow that we've taken as a fans this year. Regardless, who knows what the Panthers will do going forward as far as their concepts of helmets and stuff. We'll get that announcement a little bit later on down the line. Silver is here to stay, though. Silver helmets, silver pants. I think we should wear white a little bit more from our jersey combinations, but I'm not mad at it. I do like our jerseys overall anyway. New jerseys just sound like a good idea, but I felt like they did a pretty good idea of making these jerseys a little more modern um, just from the jump. You know, even back in 95, they did a good job and made small tweaks. We know the logo changed a little bit. They made the, the Panther a little bit more ferocious and added a lot more blue instead of white. I'm fine with either one of those concepts because you guys know I keep a lot of vintage gear. Regardless, here we are. We have to deal with the situation, and we'll get to see exactly what uh, the changes look like when Bryce Young or C.J. Stroud or whomever is going to be our first pick holds those jerseys up with Roger Goodell on draft night. Regardless, you guys let me know down below in the comments, how do you feel about us not getting new jerseys? Do you feel a little bit robbed about us wearing the wrong colors all these years and not wearing the actual blue you're supposed to wear? Let me know how you feel down below in the comments. But without further ado, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel for more Panthers content. I'll see you next time. Peace.